bit like going to the movies, Avatar's a great movie in high definition, but it's an even better movie in 3D. This kind of surgery can be used to remove tumours that are within the nose, within the roof of the nose, and also within the floor of the brain. When I'm operating, this is the screen that I would be looking at. There's a, a left feed and a right feed coming from the endoscope, and it's only when um, I put my glasses on that the feeds are merged such that I then get the depth perception and the tissues and structures that then come out of the screen. The pictures are more real, and it allows, um, hopefully, more uh, accurate and extensive surgery. So the pituitary gland normally protrudes forward in the uh, back of the skull base um, with a two-dimensional high-definition system. Uh, we were able to see it, we were able to get to, to it. The three-dimensional system allows um, much better appreciation of these structures which are not flat. They are three-dimensional structures that do come out. We started this surgery many decades ago with headlights, mirrors. We then moved to tiny cameras and endoscopes. We're now using three-dimensional endoscopy screens with intraoperative image guidance. It's a very exciting time for patients. It's a, a great time for surgeons because we're able to remove tumours that we weren't able to remove before.